What do I mean when I say Father has given me a revelation concerning his word? It means that I can read something in the Bible and I do not understand what it means. Um, and, I, and I pray and ask Father to touch my understanding by the Holy Spirit and sometimes I would say, Holy Spirit, Ruach Hogodesh, please open up the eyes of my understanding so that I can know what is the meaning of, of this. I can give you, um, when I was trying to get the name of home of prayer, congregation. And the way the name came is I would come across the house the house a prayer for all people so I thought he was going to call it house of prayer but I kept going back and praying and he showed me all these many different house of prayers that was already set up so I had to go back to him over and over again and and finally, the words came home of prayer. But inside my mind, I was told not to call it a church. I didn't understand, didn't look up church or anything or what it meant. But it took about a year that I was waiting on what we're going to call it home of prayer, what? And finally, the word congregation came to my mind, and I knew, I just knew. This uh, information came, of course, I have been baptized with the baptism of the Holy Spirit with evidence of speaking in tongues, of speaking in the Spirit. And so therefore, I, I I have read, I've lost a number of times that I have read the Bible over and over again. And so there are many other things like that 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 would take place. And that might not be the kind of revelation that that we are talking about, but it was the name of the congregation, and that's how the name of Bloated Trump is my TV. Uh, ministry was given to me as well. He gave it to me through revelation before I realized that it was in Numbers, the 10th chapter about blowing the trumpets and the fact that you blow the trumpet in one, at one time to call the people to assemble to be to prepare and then you blow the trumpet another time after they prepare to go to war but all that came through through revelation so what does it mean when Yahuwah or Elohim or God gives you a revelation when our father gives you a revelation it means that you are suddenly able to understand a spiritual truth Revelation from Elohim is spiritual knowledge suddenly made understandable to your intellect. You could be reading a passage of scripture over and over without knowing what it means. And then one day, all of a sudden, you get it. All of a sudden, you understand exactly what it means. You have just received a revelation from Elohim. A truth from Yahuwah was quickened to your spirit. Receiving revelation from Yahuwah is personally one of the most important and wonderful experience. When your eyes is suddenly like a light bulb go off 
And the understanding coming is so astonishing. Sometimes you don't want to say anything to anybody. And that happened to me when I found out that that Messiah was was what the world called black. When I found out that bronze color and everything meant that he looked similar to my skin color. I was in my oldest son's room studying. He had recently uh, moved out. And I was in his room studying, and when that information came to me, I could not, at that moment, it was hard for me to grasp it because I had grown up, you know, seeing white Jesus on the walls and in the books and everything. So I just thought God was white, Jesus white, and all the people in the scripture was white that I could understand at that point. And so I was so stunned. I didn't say anything to my husband, and we talk about a lot of things, but I didn't say anything to him that time, not right away, because I thought, I don't know what to make of this. I was so shocked. I was literally shocked. And to close in my mouth, because I, and I thought about the churches I had gone to, and I didn't remember the people talking about this. I didn't remember any ever hearing that. And I'm sure that it was said. But I was shocked into silence. And of course, from there, we know that the father left it there for the time when he was ready to give me more clarity and understanding. That was a shocking revelation to my mind. It's just been like that ever since I've been walking with him. I've been finding out things and then you can't you try to tell somebody and they can't they can't it don't make any sense to them because they're not seeking that at that point. If you have received Jesus at, at that time, when he revealed that to me, I didn't know he had a Hebrew name either. And so he revealed to me when I was calling him always by Jesus as, as my Savior. And I was given understanding, you know, after I had obtained salvation, then, then, then the the understanding by revelation. But when I think back, there were things that I would know before I was saved, and so Father had been preparing me anyway. The Ruach Hakodesh or the Holy Spirit gives you understanding as a revelation of who the Messiah is and how to receive salvation. But there's so much excitement. With, with revelation, but salvation, oh my goodness, that was something else. But anyway, I, I don't want to make this too long. Breakthrough always comes through revelation. Father said his people perish for lack of knowledge in Hosea 4, 6. And if we're desiring for a breakthrough in any area of our lives, we need revelation in that area. So all we have to do is ask Father to show us what we don't know and give us revelation. And that's why I have this, this channel because there's been so many revelations that became missing links. And, and here we are. So revelation is given to us by the Ruach HaKodesh and that's how we grow and we learn and he revealed things to you before you find it. I did not have internet at the time so I spent a lot of time just literally reading. I was not googling to listen to a bible or anything because I didn't have internet and so I was trained by the Holy Spirit 
is uh, how I got where I am now. Even when he had me, saved me, and put me in the Bible right away, he trained me through reading the whole Bible and putting it on a cassette tape at that time. And he would quicken me and things would change in my heart, spirit, or body so that I would know that's him. Oh, I went through a whole bunch of tests before I got to where I am now. But that's what I want to say. So Father may be tugging at you and telling you meditate and study his word, ask him questions. The Holy Spirit is the teacher. He'll make known to you the meaning of the Bible or the Torah. A, a scripture all of a sudden will jump off the page at you in an instant and you will understand it. And this is exciting when it happened. And yes, I, of course, I eventually come to under, understand that Messiah, hallelujah, is, is an, an Ethiopian. I came to understand that later. And a lot of people don't understand it now. They don't want to know what he... They don't care about what he looked like. They don't care about the history because they don't know yet to care, and they're not asking. And so, therefore, the truth of the kingdom of Yahuwah are always given by revelation. They're not understood by human intellect. I've seen people that like to do it through human intellect, but that don't work because they don't always know. Things that I know through the Holy Spirit, they don't know and don't accept it. Because it's a spiritual eye opener. You, you, he opens up the eyes of your understanding. So I can pray in the spirit, meaning praying pray, pray in tongues, because it's a key too to unlocking revelation. You, you're praying the hidden wisdom of our Father. We don't know how to pray, but, but he, he, uh. He knows just what we need when we pray in the Spirit. Everybody don't believe in that either. And so you can't convince them. They have to seek Father. I didn't seek Father for the tongues either. He just gave them to me. And I was here shocked again, you know. And so anyway, I hope that will help somebody that that is seeking to understand what is going on in this time with... Uh, the COVID and various other things and how how righteousness of people, you finding out now that people don't have the faith that they thought they had. Uh, this is this is being revealed during this time. This uh, virus, uh, and you can't fool Father whether you can't you can't fool us whether you've been really studying or just half studying, or half seeking him. He's revealing this uh, to us in various ways because you really have to have faith. If you don't have faith, the door, the door is open for various things to take place in our lives. You notice that when Messiah was healing the people, uh, he he will say, according to your faith, according to your faith, you are healed. Or he would he would say, your sins are forgiven you, you are healed. Or he'll let us know whether the person did if the person did not sin, then he gave us that example. But all these things come through uh, studying, praying. Seeking, seeking Father's truth, seeking His way, and never forgetting that the Holy Spirit is your teacher to to lead you into all truth, and that's what His His job is: is to lead you into all truth and to reveal and help you as you work toward the plan for which Father has placed you in this earth in the first place. Well, I'm going to stop right there. And maybe that will help someone as they come to our YouTube channel and see it says Revelations uh, links, missing links. Missing links are, are things that is here on this earth, but we haven't thought about it or we haven't seen it on the internet. 
a lot of times the things that, that I see on the internet, it has been quickened in my spirit. And then when I go look for it, I'm astonished that somebody already wrote about some of the things or, or something. You get confirmation in various ways. So may Father quicken you to have more revelation and understanding. So the, the people that come to, to the YouTube, to my channel, it means that they are on that ancient path and they are seeking truth and they know what I'm saying. If it's true, if it's a father, they know it. Just like I know when I go to various channels and I don't have to agree with everything I read because sometimes we have to be anointed to understand some of the things some of us are teaching. And so I just give praise to our Heavenly Father for for what he has uh, given, he has given to to me the the uh, the title that he gave to me, missing links, revelations, because that's how they come. I just the only way I can I can understand it, and then you you don't find that you can communicate with a lot of people with a lot of the revelations that you have. So you have to do it just like you learn a little at a time. The same way uh, people learn sometimes a little at a time, line up on line, precept upon precept. But we don't give up. We just keep right on asking, keep right on asking. So anyway, I'll just close that off right there and hope that, that my little conversation here will help somebody. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for the gift through Messiah that I'm forgiven of my sins and I continue to walk in your ancient path. I'm so grateful. Thank you for those that, that are able to understand some of the revelations that you have given to me and help them to share revelations that you give them with me as well. So thank you in Yahushua's name.